BattleRap.com. We're here at the URL traffic event in Los Angeles. The event was crazy. Oh, this nigga stole my hat. The event was crazy, you know what I'm saying? This nigga is greatly responsible for it, you know what I'm saying? You've seen him before, you know who he is. My brother, what's your name, my nigga? My name is Dead Man's Hat. <laughs> now nah, it's your boy Aspect One. URL, Fresh Coast Movement, you already know, West Coast shit, shout out to my nigga Dead Man, hey yo, hey yo, so URL finally had an event in Los Angeles, oh, that's, that's who crazy. you telling me, who you telling me, who you telling me, my nigga, I was dying for like 10 seconds, good job, my nigga, you killed me, edit that out please if you can, so anyway, you, yeah, yeah, keep it in there, URL finally had an event in Los Angeles, they came to the right dude to help organize it, how did that whole friendship or business relationship come about, you know what I mean, between you, them, and KG Depoy? How did it come about? Um, I stopped working with King of the Dot, whether you want to say I got fired or I quit, which I quit, and then I got fired from Fresh Coast Media Group, which is one of the best decisions in their life because now I'm free, you feel me? Like, I mean, the whole shit started off of, you know, we had Bola, a lot of shit went down. I felt a certain way, so I really, like, lashed out as far as the cast that was involved. You know, and um, from there, I think the company probably felt a certain way as well, and we just kind of inner friction. So I kind of was like, yo, I'm done one day, wanted to come back. They was like, nah, you straight up, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, all right, fuck it. And um, KG hit me up on something like, yo, my nigga, you need to fuck with URL, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a better look, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's the streets. Now, mind you, I'm not from Canada. I'm from the streets. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck with organic. Shout out to organic. Shout out to Kingfly. You know what I mean? Like, those are the dudes on, on King of the Dot that I really fuck with. Lush, J Pro, Avocado. You know what I mean? But for the most part, you know, those are the dudes that support me on that side, have said what up or, you know, come and look out for me, just anything. So, um, you know, it, it just evolution, bro. KG asked me to come fuck with him a couple of months, pause. A couple months later, I was in New York. Smack and Beasley really wanted to holler at me, and uh, we hollered and, and we made an arrangement, an agreement. That February, we had the first PGs in Vegas on the West Coast. Moved a couple months forward, had another one, and that brought us here to this shit right now. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to all the fans that came out, the media coverage that we got, the support, you know what I'm saying? Just the battlers that did their thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's an important thing, man. I, I'm, I'm humble and blessed at the same time because in most cases, somebody gets pushed out of a, of a circle or a job, especially with entertainment, and they're not cool anymore. You know what I'm saying? With me, though, it was a difference because I was really the dude to start this shit out here. So I've been kind of like pushing that and banging that. And, um, you know, now we finally are at a point where, you know what I'm saying, shit is, shit is for real, for real. You know now, one I mean? thing I want to say about you is that you had a, a great track record of successful events in the last few years out here. I feel like the style that you try to push forward to the forefront is more the street gritty uh, style out here because you're tired in the streets. I don't want to put too much of your business out there, but you're tired in the streets. You know how LA niggas get down, and you probably wanted the whole world to know how LA niggas get down when it comes to the street shit. So this might be a perfect fit, fit for you when it comes to bringing that type of. I mean, and beyond that, like, just to kind of go back to your 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 statement. Um, I had a lot of help with King of the Dot. It wasn't just me by myself masterminding all this shit. It was organic and lush and avocado and J-Pro and all of us as a staff, like really having input with each other and talking about matches and like really building a business like relationship. So when I left, it kind of was, you know, up for them to figure out what they wanted to do. And then for me, it was like, fuck battle rap. Honestly, I didn't even care. I, I was talking to the homies from Dilated Peoples like, yo, I'm about to go on tour with y'all niggas in February and just like get back to my regular music shit. But like I said, KG hit me up and I feel like I have a purpose to try to help the streets out, bro. Like a lot of people don't know what happens in LA or doesn't understand the dynamics. You know what I mean? Like hip hop is a real East Coast culture as far as this battle rap shit. With this on the West Coast, like we come from a gang culture. You know what I'm saying? You never hear LA say LA hip hop culture. You always hear the gang culture being a more prominent thing. So for us to really push this shit and then make it in the forefront, it was good money. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to that. Now, as far as tonight's hey. event, first tonight's event, how do you feel that the event went as a whole, and what was your favorite battle of the night? Um, as a fan, I, I've had a lot of fun. I thought the battles were really dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, bro. I, you, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm kind of speechless, man. Yeah, I got so many upset. thoughts on my mind right now, bro. Shout out to the homie Aladdin. You know what I'm saying? Getting the homies rides. Cannon. Shout out to Danger. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Danny. Yo, Danny Danger was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You to know me, that was the battle night to that me. That was like, you woke up in your... And, Christmas morning and every fucking toy was in your in your, your living room. You know what I'm saying? Like every video game was just next to your console. It was, ho, 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 ho. It was a gift, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like these guys really wrote and prepared and did their thing. Um, shout out to uh, Tink the Demon and Diesel. Oh, they had to the open a good up battle. event and really like push that. So when they did what they did, I think it helped out. You know? Yeah, I, mean? I meant to ask you about that. So Diesel did a proving grounds uh, in your earlier card. And y'all had enough faith in him to put him on this card. And he actually did his thing and, and, and showed and proved. You know what I mean? So that's one right. thing I would say respect, respect to y'all is that you're willing to put new cats on the card if y'all have faith in them. Because if y'all didn't know, Aspect One was the, is the most responsible for my last few battles in the last years. All my crazy big names, he got those for me. You know what I'm saying? So y'all low key look like cousins a little bit. We get that all the time. We get brothers usually, I'm but part cousins. And he's 100% African. That's right, work. right. You know what I'm saying? Nasa Kenya, nigga. Nasa Kenya. Shaka Zulu in the building, you feel me? So, as far as you are all west, do you all have any events planned before the end of the year out here? Um, shout out to you, though, first off. Like, you know, you, you always showed up for your battles and did your thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Respect to that. I appreciate um, it. Secondly, though, um, I'm probably going to do, like, a little PG, PG tryout just next month in September just to get motherfuckers out. You feel me? Um, yeah, you know, it, we got shit on the way. I don't really like to put too much of the info out there, but we got events on the way working. This, obviously, people felt like this was a success. I'm appreciative that y'all think that. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's more things we could work out. I'm going to be building up more of a staff so I have more assistance. This is really just on me and KG solely. I had the homie here, Cuban, really help with the last minute finding us a venue because Los Globos was like, yo, Bruce Willis uh, outbid y'all. Oh, wow. Right? wow. Like, literally, what this happened. is what happened. So, a lot of people don't know why it didn't happen at Los Globos, but we got outbid by Bruce Willis. He's doing a movie or something, and the promoter hit me back like, yo, here's your money. We can't rock. Wow. So, uh, Bruce fucking I Willis. I with literally, like, eight days to get a venue. And it, this dude smashed you know what I'm saying? And we got the best venue possible for the fans. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, Bruce Willis, you better be filming Die Hard 6 or 7, wherever one you at, my nigga. That's the only movie you get a pass for. Battle rap scene in your redo. next goddamn movie. Is Armageddon movie. redo. You come back to life yeah. and, like, the earth resets. Right. As long as, long as it's not Nicolas Cage, I guess I got, can't complain. It's not Nick Cage, man. I don't that's want the inside joke between me and him. All right. seconds plus. So no, no, that's the inside joke. One more question, though. Um, Daylight versus Big T was supposed to be on this card. It didn't go down. Uh, do you want to explain why? or do you, is this a They didn't want to do it at this time, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Daylight hit us. He was like, yo, I can't do it. I need more time to prepare. Shout out to Day. You know what I'm saying? He's still ready to rock. And um, I feel like when we do have that battle and that opportunity arises, it's going to it's gonna be shit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work, bro. Okay, I, so I believe when Day... Shout out to Day. Shout out to Big T. You know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes in this battle rap shit, we had a lot of cancellations, especially on the PG. Niggas had mysterious issues where they just couldn't show up and deaths and shit but then niggas is on cards the next week and that's a shot yes it's a shot because you know you was a headliner on our card and you you dissed us for some bullshit you know what i mean so however niggas feel they feel but i just i'm 100 and everybody know that i don't bullshit so for you to diss our card off of some bullshit and not really be a part of what we doing don't ask to come back straight up so yeah, the aspect one always tells it like it is that's one thing you know about them so Congratulations on a successful event, my nigga. You know what I mean? Thanks for always keeping it 100. Hey, can, I, can you, like, I mean, me get my weight up? Because, I like, do diamond push-ups. I do 900 a day. If, if you want to do 900 diamond push-ups, that's, that's on you. It is. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? I only do, like, 337 a day and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Hey, you got to start somewhere, my nigga. That's jacks, my jumping jacks are on point. I got, I got good jumping jacks. So, batterup.com slash gymtips.com. We out of here. Hey, URL TV.